Welcome back. Today I have a process video for you about how I painted this forest light piece. I used watercolor on Arches Cold Press. It's a paper block, so the pages stay flat the entire time you paint it. And I used a lot of water with this piece. The initial layers were big washes of color. And once that started to dry, I was able to lay in some more um, tones that I knew would sort of be more background, secondary layers. As it continued to dry, I could add more and more detail and I started working my shadows into the piece. And it was just the first layer of shadows. Um, from the very beginning, I knew I was gonna have a lot of layers in this painting. My goal for this piece was to create strong shadows cascading down from these foreground trees and in the background having beams of light kind of illuminating this little forest grove. I wasn't concerned with being very realistic. I wanted to really let the watercolor do its thing and so that included lots of washes and gradients. And my ultimate goal was to have the viewer feel a sense of peace as if they were walking through this forest. I think it was heavily inspired by a recent forest walk I had just done last weekend. Uh, and it was sunny and there were beams of light shimmering through the leaves and creating these beautiful shadows on the ground. I was just so um, in awe of the beauty that was around me, so I knew I needed to try to capture some of that feeling in this piece. <laughs> the entire process took about four hours, maybe um, a little bit less because I was doing this while I was live streaming and things always take a little bit longer <laughs> because I'm talking to chat. You saw in the beginning that I applied some masking fluid, which is very rare for me. I don't use it very often and I don't really know how to use it well. Um, and so in this piece, it's not super noticeable, but I think it does add a little sparkle to some of the grasses. This is actually an ongoing series called Forest Light that I started in 2016 when I first started teaching myself how to paint with watercolor. And this is number 30. So I've come a long way and I still have a long way to go, but I just wanted to have fun with this and really play with the lighting and the atmosphere of this painting. I think my biggest lesson learned with this piece is not necessarily a technical thing, uh, more of a design choice. Uh, I, I think I would have preferred if I had placed my light beams in various locations throughout the painting to kind of lead the eye through it. I think they do a pretty good job, as they are, but um, next time I'm just going to be more conscious of that. So yeah, thank you guys for watching this <laughs> short little process video. If you enjoyed this, please let me know, um, like and subscribe, and leave me some feedback because I want to keep making videos that you guys enjoy. Um, and yeah, until next time, keep painting. I'll see you later.